Let's go ahead and look on the shapes now for our brush. And we're using a ribbon by default, so we have access to the fill line and dotted line. We also probably modify and create some other effect, but overall, uh, we'll just go and work with them as well. We'll look on a sequence and dots. So one thing I want to, before we start modifying, we'll switch to the line. Okay, we'll have it sequence, just leave it as default right here. And we'll make be just a little bit. And we're using default brush. The one thing I want to create first, it is instead normal layer. I want to go and create a vector layer. The reason is a vector layer allows us to modification. Let me show you example. So right here, we're going to draw some image. And you notice we cannot modify. So as we draw, we have this already done for us. However, if we're going and we create a new vector layer, and you can see right here by the eye, we have this squiggling. So let's say right now I'm going to create something new. Okay. And at this point, if I want edit, I can click on edit tool. And if you notice, we have a new edit vector layer, which is give it us just edit path, modify path. But beside taking and modifying the path adjustments, and we can at the same time going and modify some of these properties. For example, you can take size smaller, maybe less particles, and you can see how it will work a real life to update on all your path. And this is sometimes a little bit more visual, uh, better to understand how this tool work. And that's the reason why we're going to the vector. So we draw on the vector layer and we're going to modify. So how I said before, we're going to look in a shape and currently our blending mode, it says to normal. And uh, we have it also lighten and darker. The rule usually you want lighten on a dark background and darken on a light background. So you can play with them, see which one work. For this currently preset normal will work the best. And we'll keep it this way. The also, same way you can increase, decrease opacity as you're going. So you can see that we'll just maybe have it about 90. So we can see a little bit through that. And you can see also our pressure sensitive is 100% increase. So if we switch to the fill, and as we switch to different type, you can see how it instantly change our preview right now. So this is a fill options. In a fill, we have a few things. We have a stroke opacity. Again, this is, remember, it is fill for the strokes. We can use all this image. But here's a little bit tricky part about using image. You need to be um, kind of sure what image you're using. Currently, you can see it's a gradient. And in some cases, if we're going and we preload some different image, or actually, let's go, let's select from library. Sometimes it won't be the effect as you want because we have a too many strokes. So for this one, we actually need to reduce amount of particles, maybe. And we want to reduce some other elements to make those particles visible, set them apart. But overall, sometimes effect because we're using on a strokes and we're feeling with that. It's not necessarily will work. Better what I found, it's work if you have it. some shapes once that work a little bit better that represent kind of like almost line like brushes. So in this case, as you're going, you can see we can, it's producing those lines of the brushing. Okay. Also, of course, we can change our repetition, so we can repeat either way. So, okay, and let's maybe give it a little bit more effect. Also, right here on the strokes, let's go to select instead. Um, I guess and we'll select a little bit more um, dot separation, and you can see right here we have the effect. So let's go to one, one, go back, so we can see a little bit more on this. And you can preview on the edges how it's become. If we disable our um, anti-aliasing a little bit less. Okay. And just for moments. If you have a 
complex um, work and you don't really and you don't care too much as you're working on the edges not on the final result as in process of working you can always disable anti aliasing it will make a little bit faster to process so sometimes if you have the complex lines you're going on or for i'll do recommend for you to turn it off and when you will render export final result you can always go back turn it on and you'll have this so same with amount of details if we increase higher details you'll see how it will take already take quite a bit longer time just to render this to preview and your details it's always will take take up more details take longer to actually render because it does create a much better result however just remember so overall what i like to do is decrease enable um disable anti-asking start creating general shapes uh, drawing and when it's final you can enable let it render and after you can use it but again to do this when you want to modify be sure you're creating the um, vector layer so you can go inside and modify properties of the brush and path of the brush after when you finish uh, drawing one more things to mention when we work with the uh, shapes and we're using the fill we also can modify how we feel it beside using image and stroke opacity with a palette so we'll have a single color you can modify you can see right here we can go as we select the gradient we can go with the gradient and as well we can select the image and we can go and fill with the image of course this image you remember similar like before you can go ahead and select already predefined patterns you can preload it yours if you need it so right here is a bunch of fishes but remember because um how they it's work it's not necessarily you will see this image like the example the pattern of the fishes you can see how they're stretching and going so you not necessarily will see that images keep this in mind um as well with images where i find out if you have a png with some transparency you can see if it does not done um kind of outline you have this dark line on the edges and it just you need to be sure when you create it for the purpose of the used in a brush in the feeling you pay attention to those edges in the images but overall right here you can create a very beautiful very nice effects with this and again beside the using with the fill you can also use the color gradient in image in your uh, palette panel